Congrats, class of 2020. We finally did it. After all of these years of pressure and stress, we're finally here, graduating today stronger than ever before. Our graduation may have been different than anything we'd ever imagined, but I think it happened to us for a reason. Getting to know all of you and becoming friends with many of you, it has taught me that we, the class of 2020, are capable of facing adversity, adapting to our surroundings, and living our lives very selflessly, understanding that we are not the only ones affected by hardships. We understand people's struggles, and instead of thinking of only ourselves, we embrace people with open arms and sympathize with them. If coronavirus has taught me anything at all, it has taught me to live life not only for the good of yourself, but for the good of everyone. Today is the day where you are free to become the authentic you. For many of you, that may include going to college, joining the military, entering the workforce, or taking a gap year to grow and understand yourself. As for me, when this is over, the binging on Netflix will begin. Vampire Diaries, I'm ready for you. But we have our whole lives to plan our future. Instead, let's look at what high school has done for us. I remember the summer before freshman year. That whole summer I had been watching all of the coming of age movies that take place in high school and having these crazy expectations. After watching these movies, you could all imagine my disappointment when I walked into high school not being greeted by Troy Bolton and it being nothing like the high school musical Meet Breakfast Club, Meet Sixteen Candles dream I had dreamt of. Even though it was nothing like I had expected it to be, it was surprisingly so much better. It was real, high highs and low lows. All of us went through different journeys to become who we are now, and we've all lost ourselves and found ourselves again at some point in our journey. For me, the hardest things I've had to overcome in high school was learning to accept who I am. My freshman year, I had joined a popular club on campus. I had ditched all of my friends to become friends with other people because that's what I thought was going to make me cool. I only hung out with older kids, and I did things for them and not for myself. But as I made these mistakes, I realized that I missed my friends and the people that genuinely made me happy. All the way up to my junior year, everything I was involved in was for someone else. That's when I took hold of my life at the end of junior year, and I decided to be a part of things I genuinely loved doing. People may tell you that quitting is something that's weak, but I completely think the opposite. It takes courage to get out of your comfort zone and do things for yourself. Now after hearing my own journey and hearing my struggles, I hope it gives you courage and hope for the future. You will get through whatever you're dealing with, just as you got through high school, just how you got through that breakup, and just how you got through failing that test. You are stronger than you know, and I am proud of each and every one of you. Finally, I leave you with words of wisdom from the great Natasha Bendingfield. Live your life with arms wide open, and today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. Congrats, class of 2020, and I hope we all meet again. Love always, Michaela.